Well, good evening, everyone. I'm uh, William Brantley. <coughs> Choked up. <laughs> no, I'm uh, William Brantley from uh, North Jackson, Tennessee, uh, on Walker Road, uh, ready to share with you uh, yesterday's and today's climate summary and give you a forecast for the next few days uh, momentarily. Uh, had another cold day today. It did warm up some during the afternoon. Had a little bit of sunshine. It actually felt almost okay. Uh, but we got some more cold days coming before it finally sort starts sort of warming up a little bit better uh, in our area. Uh, yesterday's uh, low temperature here in uh, North Jackson was uh, 13 degrees. That was a new record coldest low for yesterday. Yesterday's high was only 27 degrees. That was also a new record coldest high for December the 27th. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, I've been kind of uh, a little coughing all day long and I apologize for that. Uh, no rainfall, snow, whatever. Uh, fell yesterday, zero for that. Uh, highest wind gust uh, yesterday was 25 miles per hour out of the northwest at uh, 619 a.m. Yesterday's coldest uh, wind chill was 5 degrees and that was at 8 and 9 a.m. and then again at 11 p.m. last night. Yesterday's coldest low in West Tennessee was 32 degrees at uh, Savannah, Tennessee, while 12 would be the coldest low in West Tennessee yesterday, and that was at Paris, Tennessee. Now, today's climate data, as of 5 p.m., the skies were clear. The temperature was 27 degrees at that time. The uh, dew point, uh, the wind chill weather, the wind chill was 23 degrees at that time. The dew point was 10 degrees and the humidity was at 49%. The wind was out of the northwest at 6 miles per hour and the barometric pressure was 30.43 inches of mercury. Today's low temperature was... Uh, 10 degrees this morning Ooh, here in North Jackson on Walker Road and that is a new record coldest low for December the 28th. The old record was 16 degrees uh, back in 1977 and 2010 so we uh, did have another record coldest low this morning. Today's high temperature did get up to uh, 34 degrees <clears throat> Thank heavens, that is not a record coldest high. <laughs> uh, 30 in 1961 would be that record. So yes, we had a cold 10 degrees this morning, but it did warm up above freezing just a little bit at 34 degrees. Of course, no rainfall fell today or snow since midnight. Uh, lowest humidity would be 40%. As of 3 p.m., the highest would be 70%, and that was at 4 through 7 a.m. this morning. Today's lowest barometric pressure would be 30.42 inches, and that occurred at 2 p.m., while the highest would be 30.58 inches, and that occurred at uh, 12 a.m. And today's... Uh, Highest wind gust was 14 miles per hour out of the northeast at 12.13 a.m. And by the way, today's coldest wind chill was 3 degrees, and that occurred at 5 a.m. this morning. Today's records for August, uh, August, <laughs> I wish it was, uh, for December the 28th, uh, hottest time would be 74 degrees. And that happened in 1984. Of course, the coldest low would be 30. Uh, I'm sorry. The coldest high would be 30 degrees in 1961. The warmest low would be 60 degrees in 1984. While the coldest low now would be 10 degrees in 2017. 
today's rainfall record would be 2.43 inches and that occurred in 2012 and the snowfall record would be a trace and that happened in 1983, 1987, and 1988. Alrighty. I guess that's the basic uh, climate data for you this evening. I guess it's time to show you a few graphs and uh, take it from there. Of course, uh, radar is clear here in West Tennessee and all of Tennessee actually. Uh, as you can see here, courtesy of uh, AccuWeather. Uh, it looks like the entire state is uh, clear at this hour, uh, as of at least uh, 10 p.m., uh, which was oh, 35 minutes ago, not too late, not too long ago. The entire state is precipitation free, and that's going to continue for the next uh, several days. By the way, alrighty. Let's click on to uh, the regional, southeast regional view. And let you see that a good portion of the southeast is clear tonight. Especially Tennessee. A little bit of snow over there looks like in central North Carolina. A little bit of rain along the... Uh, Georgia, uh, South Carolina coast, and it looks like a little pink in there. That could be some freezing rain down there, or sleet down there along the South Carolina border. How about that? Hopefully it's not too bad for those folks down there. <clears throat> and then, of course, the rain along the uh, uh, Georgia, Florida state line down there. And other than that, that's really about it some rain off the coast they're down there off of the miami florida coast down in that area looks like it's snowing to our north again <laughs> well north of us up near the great lakes i go ahead and move on to the national view for that a better view and yes it does look like uh yeah there's the rain along the coast I know what that blur is. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Cut that ceiling light off. That'll help it. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. Sorry about that little light blur there in the top center. Now you get a view of the whole nation there. Looks like it's snowing in spots all along the northern portion of the U.S. It's not solid, but it's it's in pretty good spots though. Anywhere from western Pennsylvania through the Great Lakes states on to the northern plains, on over to uh, basically Washington State. Looks like it's uh, mixed precipitation out there in Washington State and the eastern side or southeastern side, snowing in northern Idaho and a good part of Montana. If you just happen to be going in that direction. Otherwise, uh, a little rain off the Brownsville, Texas area down there. Other than that, pretty clear. Precipitation rise anyways. Alright, let's move on to the uh, satellite. Take a quick look at Tennessee first, of course. And still looks reasonably clear from this angle. Some clouds passing by to our north. That's making it sort of cloudy over toward Nashville. Maybe some thin clouds are going by, but nothing real heavy here. And there you pretty much see the... Uh, East Tennessee and there's West Tennessee. Alright. Look at the region. And uh, 
it's reasonably clear out there. Well, at least thin, no worse than thin overcast. I have, uh, and it's, it's pretty thick cloud starting north, but it's going by to our north. It's going to stay just north and east of us. Let me bring that out let you see the country real good. All right. Take a, go ahead and take a look at the national view. And uh, as a country as a whole, maybe we see it where it's cloudy and where it's not. There's Jackson where that pin is, kind of toward the center of the map there, or the center of the screen, I should say. And there you see where it's cloudy and where it's reasonably clear. Nationwide. All right. <clears throat> uh, let's move on to the uh, uh, weather map, courtesy of uh, Weather Underground. As you can see, we have a stationary front down around Memphis, going to a low in Kansas, and then continuing over to uh, the Oklahoma Panhandle. And there's another front out west that's stretching all the way from Montana down through the eastern uh, Mount, uh, Rocky Mountains all the way down into Mexico. <laughs> it's doing some stretching there, my friends. Nothing here in Tennessee at the moment except for that stationary front near Memphis. There's some scattered snow up north, of course. And there's another cold front that's up an hour that's going to attempt to move through our area in the next day or so. Let me spring out one notch and get a better view of where all that is. And there's a better view of it. There's the rain along the west coast and snow as you get into the mountains over there in Montana. You can see the lows and highs up there. That's the one, that, that's the one that's going to be moving through us uh, the next day or so. The stationary front on through uh, New York. And there you see a long, long front. My goodness. Way out there. Down into Mexico, then curves north, and goes all the way up to into southwest Canada. <laughs> That's a long one there, my friends. And there's the snow up northeast in, in different spots. That's pretty much a tour of the country. Let me take a closer look one more time. And get Tennessee and get a real close view here. There we go. That's a real good close view of Tennessee and the surrounding area. Woods raining and snowing, and that's pretty much it. Alrighty. Uh, I guess we'll move on to the detailed forecast, and I'll read you a few days of that to you. And uh, that'll be it for tonight, I guess. Move back around just a little bit, make some minor adjustments to it. <clears throat> and it looks like it's going to be mostly fair tonight and tomorrow. Mostly fair, mostly clear, whichever term you prefer. And fair on Saturday and Sunday. And Monday, New Year's Day, mostly clear. And then by Tuesday, it's going to be fair to noon. Then becoming mostly cloudy to sunset. And then going back to fair Tuesday night. And then actually, it's going to be fair for the next few days beyond that. Uh, January the 3rd, fair. Mostly fair January the 4th on Tuesday. All the way through Friday, uh, Saturday, uh, <laughs> so all the way through Saturday week, January the 6th. So there's no precipitation in the forecast for the next nine days. It's generally going to be mostly clear to partly cloudy at worst. With the exception of uh, Tuesday, January 2nd, 
was going to go mostly cloudy during the afternoon hours, but then clear back up by next Tuesday evening. All right. Uh, the low tomorrow morning, uh, Friday morning, December 29th, should be near 20. That's actually warmer than what this morning's low was of 10. <laughs> That'll help a little bit. Maybe we won't break a record tomorrow morning. Uh, 45 degrees is going to be the high tomorrow. That's uh, going to feel good. Make that 43 degrees. But even that's a bit warmer than what uh, today's high was. Uh, what was it again? 34 degrees. Barely above freezing. Tomorrow about 43 degrees. With east winds of 5 to 10 miles per hour. The sun's going to be rising tomorrow morning at 7.04 be setting tomorrow evening at 4.51 and rising Saturday morning at 7.04 and setting at 4.52 p.m. Saturday. Now moon will be setting tonight at uh, 2.55 a.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, it'll be rising tomorrow afternoon. Uh, well, I'll take that back. I've got the wrong day there. I apologize for that. The moon will be setting at 1.49 a.m. tonight or tomorrow morning and be rising tomorrow afternoon at 2.28 p.m. and setting at 2.55 a.m. Saturday morning. I'm sorry for the mix-up there. The uh, sun will be rising tomorrow morning at 7.04 and be setting at 4.51 p.m. I already gave you the moon information part. And uh, high and low for Friday. East winds that be 5 to 10 miles per hour tomorrow. Saturday, it looks like it's going to be, like I said, fair. Low near 26 and a high of 39 with north winds of 10 to 20. Sunday, it's going to be low of 16 degrees. Be kind of cold Sunday morning again with a high of 27 degrees with north winds of 10 to 20. And on Monday, uh, New Year's Day, it's going to be a low of 9 degrees. Whew, that's even colder than it was this morning. It's 10. But after that, it's going to slowly start warming up. It was a high of 25 on New Year's Day. Low of 9 and a high of 25 with north winds at 10 to 20. By the way, the sun rises at 705 and sets at 453 <coughs> on New Year's Day. And the moon rises at 4.49 p.m. and sets at 6.21 a.m. on that Tuesday morning, January 2nd. And speaking of Tuesday, January 2nd, like I said, fair skies to moon, then becoming mostly cloudy. Till sunset, then becoming fair again, with low near 10 and a high of uh, 29, with north winds of 5 to 15 miles per hour. And then by next Wednesday, January 3rd, a low of 16 with fair skies and a high of 36 with west winds of 10 to 20 miles per hour. Oh, why didn't I won't go ahead and cut it at that since I am running a little late tonight because I'm not really feeling all that good. Uh, you might be telling it in my voice. But once again, uh, mostly clear skies with low of 20, high of 41 tomorrow, with east winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. I'm going to call it at that, and I hope all of you have a very pleasant uh, Thursday night, uh, sweet dreams, and I hope you wake up to a beautiful Friday, uh, December 29th, 2017, and uh, if I can keep my voice okay, <laughs> I'll talk to you again tomorrow night, I hope, and possibly uh, via Facebook Live tomorrow afternoon. Okay, uh, that's it for tonight. Thank you for listening, as always, and uh, God bless you.